stated. Being a student in economics and foreign trade back in 1987, I never thought I would ever have anything to do with NGOs and fundraising. Also because there were no NGOs in Hungary back then, in the socialist era. But as soon as the borders opened up in Hungary, I went to Germany to practice German language. The only way I could find this two months stay of mine there was to do voluntary work for food and accommodation. I got into a Campiel house. I don't know, maybe some of you know this Campiel movement throughout the world. They're providing homes and training and schools for people with intellectual disabilities. So when I got there, I suddenly met about 40 youngsters, all with multiple and severe disabilities, and all of my age. I was 21 back then. It was the first time in my life I met such people, because disabled people lived, and still most of them live, in huge institutions in Hungary, hidden away. I sharply remember my first thought when I got there. It was, it could have been me. My God, I could have been one of them. And it was a shocking experience. I arrived at lunchtime there, when all 40 youngsters were sitting in a dining room having lunch. I quickly introduced myself, but then I had to get out of the house right away because I didn't think I could cope with the situation. I went out into the garden and cried. But then, a couple of minutes later, one of the residents came and joined me. Her name was Katharina. She was severely disabled, intellectually. She could hardly speak. But she took my arm, she looked into my face and smiled. And we went for a long walk that afternoon in the garden. And we never said a word. However, it was the most important walk in my life. Now, almost 20 years later, I'm managing director of the Sabo Vita Foundation and try to help people with intellectual disabilities to find their place in the world, just like Katharina helped me back then. Salvo Vita provides training and supported employment services to people with intellectual disabilities. Do you agree that work is one very important part of our lives? In fact, we spend almost half of our days at the workplace, and probably I'm not the only one in this room who does so, why is it so important to work? It gives sense and structure to our days. It makes possible to earn money to buy things, of course. At work we have colleagues. We even have friends, if we are lucky. And we do not have to spend a day alone sitting at home or sitting in an institution, in the worst case, doing absolutely nothing, like many of our clients used to do before finding a job. Can you imagine this at all? Sitting at home alone and doing nothing for years? Having no self-confidence to get out of the house and meet other people? Because I know a lot of people who have experienced this for years, every single day. I have learned something very important from my own experience, and I have seen many evidence to it in the past 15 years. The lesson I've learned is that personal involvement, personal experience can change lives. It's that simple. Based on this experience, I've started to raise funds for the organizations, uh, organization I work for. Through our work at Sala Vitas, we do have regular and close contacts to employers. So when we were thinking of looking for financial resources to fund our services, it was an obvious decision to try to engage employers, also as donors. Especially those who have some kind of experience with working with disabled people. I was convinced that this personal experience will help us to reach our goals. And it seems that I was right. Let me tell you 
a short story about how we managed step by step to involve one of the biggest employers in Hungary. It is Tesco, so this is the second biggest employer in Hungary, and one of our partners for many years now. However, it took more than one year to convince them to employ our first client. We had several meetings with the HR director, talking about our clients, about their work capacity, talking about the business case of being a disability confident company. And their first personal experience started in Avalanche. Today, they employ our clients throughout the country in several supermarkets. And the cooperation went even further. Sago Vita became Tesco's charity of the year in 2007. And I asked the HR director why they have chosen Sago Vita. He disclosed me that it was because we provided, provided an active part to Tesco's in our project. And they were happy to get involved and fund a project where the supermarkets provide practical placement for youngsters with intellectual disabilities, helping them to prepare for a job in the open labor market later on. We have also offered Tesco's another way to get involved with our goals, a different way. When we decided to establish an employers forum on disability issues in Budapest, we asked them to become a founder of this forum and to become the first presenter at the first meeting. And again, they were happy to engage and to share their experiences with other employers. Through all these projects, many of Tesco's employees got involved too. They met our clients during the practical placement sessions. Many of them work together with our clients in the supermarkets. They can see how their lives are changing, how the lives of these people are changing. They have personal experience. Built on all these personal experiences, earlier this year, Sava Vita has asked employees of companies that already employ disabled people to offer their 1% of their taxes to support our clients. Thanks to this corporate campaign, the amount we have received from the, from the 1% donation this year is six times higher than it was last year. I said at the beginning that I am not a fundraiser by profession. This is true. However, I discovered throughout the years that I can raise money simply by involving the people in the 